Journalist and author Bob Woodward, who's joining me here in the Situation Room. What's your reaction to this moment in history that we're all going through right now? Well, it's it's very important, and uh, there's there are technicalities in the indictment saying that Trump defrauded, worked to defraud the government of a process of certifying and saying who won the presidency, and what. Uh, is in rooted in all of this is the concept that it was a former president who was uh, chief justice a uh, uh, hundred years ago, uh, Chief Justice Taft, who had been president, who wrote that defrauding the government, the, the theme line is dishonesty. And if you read this indictment, uh, it's about dishonesty, Certainly about is. not being straight. And people who don't like Trump or people who do like Trump should read it and ask this question. Do we want a president who is dishonest? Uh, I've spent some time talking to people, to Republicans, and I think a lot of them don't believe that the election was stolen from him. But they like him. There's, there's, there's something about it. You spent a lot of time interviewing Trump during his last year as president of the United States. Yes. I want you and our viewers uh, to listen to two, uh, two excerpts of that. Listen to this. Thank you. There's nobody that's tougher than me. Nobody's tougher than me. You ask me about impeachment. I'm under impeachment, and you said, you know, you just act like you just won. Nixon was in a corner with his thumb in his mouth. Yeah. Bill but Clinton took it very, very hard. I just do things, okay? I get, I get people, they come up with ideas, but the ideas are mine, Bob. Uh, the ideas I, are mine. And Want then, to know something? Everything's mine. So what lessons, Bob, do you learn from Trump's mindset now as he's going through what he's going through? Well, he, he really believes everything is his. And uh, he, uh, what I came away, not just from uh, eight hours of interviews, but writing three books on him and uh, spending seven years on Donald Trump and his presidency, he does not understand the presidency and the responsibilities. Uh, he, he just does not get it. Uh, he does not, he looks at democracy as enemy territory, really, as something, it's about the people, them. He likes, everything is about him, everything uh, is mine. So pe people are going to have to make that as assessment. And I, I think uh, the special counsel did a great job of marshalling facts. Some I've talked with you about two years ago when Bob Costa and I did the book Peril. And you see the Giuliani memos. You see the deceit, you see the line, you see the denial, you see the pressure on Vice President Pence to do something dishonest. You know, That's what this is I'm about. I'm curious, uh, as a, somebody who loves history, you and Carl Bernstein uh, broke the Watergate scandal story in the Washington Post. Uh, having done that, did you ever expect that we'd be going through as a country right now what we're clearly going through? Uh, of, of course not. But what's so interesting about the Nixon crimes, uh, the sabotage, the espionage, the, the burglary of Daniel Ellsberg's psychiatrist's office, uh, 17 wiretaps on reporters, what all this was done illegally before the election, which Nixon won. He won 49 states. It helped. So. Uh, Nixon's crimes are before Election Day, as the indictment alleges of Trump. All the crimes are after the election. So in a, in a sense, they desired, divided the world of electoral politics. Nixon would do the crimes before the election. Now, Nixon won 49 states and was helped with his criminality and his payoffs. I remember Senator Irvin asked uh, what was Watergate, uh, an effort to 
destroy the process of nominating and electing a, pro a president. But Irvin also asked the very important question, why Watergate? Why did we? And Irvin, who ran that wonderful Senate uh, committee and investigation of Nixon, said, why Watergate? It is a lust for political power. Yeah. Now that's the connection. Whether I'm, I'm sorry, but in 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 the case of uh, Trump, it's not just political power; it's personal power. Yeah. Everything is. That's an important point, Bob Woodward, as usual. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for being the excellent journalist that you are. We're grateful. Thank Appreciate you. it.